Every year, around 7,000 people in the UK are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Five years after diagnosis, only 200 will still be alive. Most people don't know anything about it. Um, most doctors seem to think if you have it, that's it. Pancreatic cancer is the 10th most common cancer in the UK. Of all cancers, it is the fifth biggest killer. They've got to find people who've had pancreatic cancer, who will stand up, who will speak out, say what's missing, how difficult the journey was. Pancreatic cancer is a, a real problem. It's a real problem. We know that it has very poor survival. Pancreatic cancer has been identified as, uh, as a disease type that needs more attention and new investment. It is a, a cancer that's very difficult to treat in that conventional treatments are not very successful. The pancreas is an organ uh, in the middle of the body. It's cupped by the spleen and it opens into the duodenum, the small intestine. It's got two functions. Uh, one is to produce hormones, including insulin, which controls glucose, but uh, a number of other hormones too, which have important functions. But the bulk of the organ is actually um, responsible for producing the enzymes that digest food. Pancreas cancer is still really um, an indestructible weapon of mass destruction, I would say. And really, uh, we've not particularly been able to crack, crack the shell. So oftentimes the patients present unwell and rapidly become miserable. And despite the best of medicine, the patients suffer, the families suffer, the patients die. And the, pet, and the families are just left with this quiet anger. The situation for pancreatic cancer patients in the UK today is bleak when compared to that for patients of other cancers. It is the silence of pancreatic cancer that has led to it being underfunded, under-researched and in dire need of publicity. Despite accounting for nearly 5% of cancer deaths in Britain every year, it receives just 1% of government cancer funding. Compare this to cervical cancer, which accounts for around 0.7% of cancer deaths, but receives 4% of allocated cancer funds. Death and pancreatic cancer are strongly linked, but it doesn't have to be this way. Breast, skin, and prostate cancer all had very low survival rates 40 years ago, but are now understood, treatable, and familiar. We are very keen to see progress uh, on pancreatic cancer, and that's true both from the government point of view and from the charities that contribute to um, research. First of all, we've got to, to know how best to try and undertake the research. And I think there's the combination there of basic science to try and understand the disease and then clinical trials uh, to see whether different new treatments uh, work better and get better survival rates. It needs the whole of the pancreatic cancer community working together to make sure that we've got a single voice, a single focus of action to make sure that we can achieve that because it's only really by working together that we'll be able to do that.